Hello and welcome to our Year with the Ears, our daily vlog where we relive our year living in the Walt Disney World Resorts in 2019. Today is day 52. This morning we got dressed and ready because later this afternoon we will be going to the Delish pop-up event. Now this was supposed to be kind of food related, but I didn't own anything Disney food related. And I like to dress up to themes. So I borrowed one of Robert's shirts so that I could blend into the theme. And of course he wore his turkey leg shirt. And I, I have multiple Disney food related shirts. And so I just had to pick he had which plenty one to I spare. wanted to wear. Right. He was good. And so Robert got some work done at the resort here at French Quarter while I took the Banshees outside to do a photo shoot with them because they're just super adorable. It was a really nice day and so I just had a lot of fun just putting them in the bushes and taking pictures with them. I probably looked like a crazy person but you know I don't care because I got some great pictures. And you had fun that's all that matters. I right? did. Now before we head down to Disney Springs for that event we want to go ahead and have some lunch mm -hmm. so we took our leftovers down to the French Quarter food court and used the microwave there to heat those up and eat and then we went out to the boat to go to Disney Springs. I personally love taking the boat from Riverside so and French Quarter. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. ride out to Disney Springs and the buses may be just a little faster depending on how quickly the bus comes but it's not nearly as pretty. So yeah. we like to take the boat over there and we boated over to Disney Springs for the Delish pop-up event. Now this was over on the side of Disney Springs where the theater is, not mm -hmm. over by World of Disney, and they had this whole big event set up. We didn't really know what to expect and we were really surprised at how much they were actually doing. We really were. We had no idea what it was supposed to be. We just knew that Disney was doing an event, so we wanted to be there for it because mm -hmm. we're living at Disney. We're gonna experience as much as we can. So we had it over there and we're totally shocked at the entire display they had going on. There was live music, they had a makeup section. So we went over first and foremost and got to see the music and really enjoy that because who doesn't love really good live music? It was completely themed, it was, it was amazing. It was really good. These guys were super, super talented and we do have a few video clips of them as well. And we loved that they even danced while they were singing out there. They were very talented, very good. And the whole reason that Disney was doing this event was because they were coming out with a new clothing line that was all food themed. So they had some that came in like a donut box, they had the cheesy t-shirt that came in a pizza box, mm -hmm. and of course they had a popcorn box because like that's just the all American food, right? And I loved how they actually packaged the clothing in the boxes mm -hmm. for the food. It wasn't just themed prints on the shirts, it was actually the boxes too. It was a whole thing. It was a really cool <laughs> little thing. I, I don't know why it needed this whole big event to release it, but it was also really cool. And the cast members that were out there mm -hmm. selling the new merchandise were also dressed in costumes. So like the guy who was selling the shirt that came in a pizza box was dressed like a chef and had a shirt that he was tossing like a pizza dough. It was really fun. That was actually hilarious to watch because he was back there having the time of his life tossing mm -hmm. this. It looked like he was actually like tossing dough and at first we thought he was. It was just a t-shirt. He did it all afternoon, just toss it up in the air. But it was a lot of fun and we just love this event. They even had a whole setup where we could take pictures and they had props that were food themed. I mean, it was a whole thing. They also had the Mac store there and they had these lip glosses that they were letting guests try on. And I wasn't thrilled with the color I ended up choosing. It did not look like the one I thought it would but they were supposed to be all themed like donuts and different flavors and whatnot. So it was cool, they put it on, that was fine. But I really just enjoyed the fact that we got to take pictures and have fun. Yeah, but Robert's I mean, favorite part. Your parts were cool, I guess, but the part that I got really excited about was when I saw the other cart. See, there was the cart selling mm -hmm. the donut shirts, the cart selling the popcorn shirts, the cart selling the pizza shirts. And then there was a fourth cart mm -hmm. that was selling Mickey bars and strawberry bars. And I was like, okay, cool, they're selling Mickey bars. And then I found out they're not selling Mickey bars. They're giving away Mickey bars. For free. Okay, free Mickey bars? Yeah, you've got my attention now. You wanna buy a shirt, you wanna buy whatever you want, that's fine, I'm getting Mickey bars. I will go over there and wait in line. There's not mm -hmm. a huge line anyway, 
I'm gonna get myself a Mickey bar and you can have a strawberry bar if you wanna get one too. I mean, this was a complete event that revolved around like three t-shirts that crazy. Disney was selling and they're handing out free Mickey bars and they were doing strawberry popsicles as well, which is what I ended up having, but we were completely shocked because again, Disney doesn't do free very often. Yeah, not really. So, so. this was a big deal. We got ice cream and popsicles. I've never seen anything quite like no. it as far as a merchandise release. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's because they don't really have a reason to do that or if they just realized like, wow, we spent a lot of money to launch three t-shirts. I don't know. I don't know what was going on with that. I'm not upset about it at all. I had a lot of fun and I got free ice cream. We so. had a great time. We got to be there, but I we also didn't buy t-shirts, so they didn't exactly that. make their money back on us. <laughs> there is that. that, yeah. Now, once we finished our ice cream, we did head inside the Disney-style store right mm -hmm. there at the corner because that's where they were having the event, right outside the store. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to look around. Believe it or not, we've never been in the Disney-style store. Nope. We've been over to the theater and we've gone to the Star Wars store, the Marvel store, the Candy Cauldron. For whatever reason, we just never gone in Disney style, never really thought about it, I guess. No. And we were really surprised at the variety of merchandise in there. It quickly became one of our favorite stores to mm -hmm. browse through just because they have such interesting mm -hmm. merchandise there. They have so many different movie themes and a lot of throwback merchandise mm -hmm. to stuff that was from the 90s and even like the 80s. They also so, have really cool decor as well. They also right? have great decor. Really the decorations cool. in there are really awesome. Plus the giant teacup that you can go sit in, which yeah. is cool. And leaving the store there, we realized we were hungry because we didn't eat a lot. We didn't have mm -hmm. a lot of leftovers, just that pasta that Alyssa had that we kind of split. So uh, we decided to hit somewhere new. We've yeah. never been before to Chicken Guy at Disney Springs and yeah. it's right there, super convenient. So we hopped in the short line to get some food there and oh my goodness, I was not prepared for how good this was. Everyone always talks about like Chicken yeah. Guy is great and I'm sitting here looking at it going, it's, it's chicken tenders. How can it really be better than just chicken tenders? I don't know. I don't know how it can, but it definitely did. And then when they did. ask, what sauce you want and you're like oh what do you have and they 18 just point or 20 to the sauces board. yeah i had no idea we yeah. just kind of guessed so we picked it. like two random sauces <laughs> and got those and i it was i absolutely amazing. loved loved <laughs> their chicken i was really kind of skeptical going in but i became out of believer because the chicken tenders were great oh, yeah. and the chicken mac and cheese they had was really good too. It's just mac and cheese with like chicken tenders cut up on top, but it was awesome. It's like I you say it. just, but you really enjoyed it. Oh, it, it like... was great. It just, it wasn't anything like different kind of chicken. It was the same tenders, but it was on the mac and cheese, which made it even better. And right after we finished there, we went over to Goofy Candy Co because I really wanted a Mickey cake pop. I don't know why, I just really wanted one and I hadn't had one in a little while, so I got a cake pop before we headed over to Wide World of Sports. And the reason we're going to ESPN Wide World of Sports is because it is the start of the expo for Princess Half Yay! Marathon Weekend. <laughs> we are so excited and also nervous for this race, but we need to go over there to pick up our bibs and make sure we're all registered and good to go for the race. Mm -hmm. And we also wanna see what else is there. We've never yeah. been to one of the expos for the races before. We don't know what to expect, what they're gonna have. So we're gonna head over there on the bus and hopefully get everything taken care of when we get there, is what we're thinking at least. And then we get there and we see the line just to get into the building to register and it's wow. Very long. A very long <laughs> line. And it's also getting late in the afternoon now. It's getting close to evening time. We do have a movie booked later at the AMC Theater. We're kind of looking at our watches, going all right, what are we gonna do? We'll just get in there and get registered. We'll figure it out when we get inside. So we got in the line, waited in line to get registered, had to sign these waivers mm -hmm. and then go get our bibs and our shirts. And oh my goodness, when we walked in to the Expo Center and saw all the booths with all the merchandise and all the things you can look at there, we were very unprepared for how large that it was. was very overwhelming. Be. There it were was, a lot of booths there. It was a lot all at one time. And then on top of that, they also had the run Disney merchandise was in a whole separate place. And there's just all this other merchandise that wasn't even run Disney. and. Oh, just so many things. And so we looked at it and said, okay, we don't have nearly enough time mm -mm. to go over all this today. We'll come back another day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our bibs, we're gonna get our shirts, we're gonna walk around outside and get our bearings for where everything is. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna come back because there's no way we can get through everything today. And of course we took a lot of pictures because this is a big deal. It's our first half marathon. Mm -hmm. We've never done this before. So we took pictures with our bibs and with our shirts and just kind of walked around. And I did buy a little tiara that I could wear during the race because I didn't have one and 
It's the Princess Half Marathon, so I yeah. needed something to it go was, with it. And it was Aurora's race, and it was Aurora's yeah. crown. It made a lot of sense. You're wearing Aurora's colors for the race. I will say this, though. In all those pictures we took with the backgrounds and our bibs and everything else, we did not post any pictures with our bibs with the numbers showing. That is a big thing if you ever do a Run Disney race. Make sure before the race you don't post any pictures with your bib there like that. And so make sure if you're going to do a picture like that, you can always post it after the fact. Just don't do it before the race. We walked around for a little while. We didn't really stop and shop at all. We just wanted to see what they had so we could know where we wanted to go when we came back. Mm -hmm. So we took the bus from Wide World of Sports back to French Quarter so that I could change because today was a very exciting day. We were going to see a non-Disney movie. Oh, I know. Blasphemy. We're horrible. How could we? Did you know they even make such a thing? Like other and, places make movies? And did you know that they play those movies on Disney property at Disney no. Springs in the AMC Theater? It's crazy. But I was really excited because we were going to see How to Train Your Dragon 3 at the AMC at Disney Springs. So we took the bus over there and I was super excited because this is the final one. This is the last wrap up. And I love these movies. This is probably one of the very few non-Disney movies that I mm -hmm. really, really love. I have all the Funko Pops of all of them. So I was very excited to get to see this movie. And I will say, I was very pleasantly surprised at the ending, how good it was. I was very happy with all mm -hmm. of it. It was just a wonderful way to end the night because sometimes you don't know how those are gonna go but it ended wonderfully and I just loved it. Yeah, it was a great ending. Even though it wasn't a Disney movie, I was okay with it because I'm not a big fan of certain other studios' movies sometimes, <laughs> but in this case, I feel like they did a really nice job yeah. with the overall trilogy and wrapped it up. They didn't try to milk it and they kind of gave themselves a place where if they wanted to do a spin-off series or movie, they probably could, but you didn't need it. And that's a big pet peeve of mine. If you're gonna have a series of movies, have a defined series, end the series and don't tease us about maybe having another movie after the fact when you've already already done the three that you're gonna do so I really like the fact that it ended well and yeah. you were able to have a good conclusive ending to the story that we could then go home and be like okay we're good with that now. it was a very satisfying ending where it was just I'm happy and that was actually as soon as it ended Robert looked at me and goes how do you feel I was like I'm happy I'm, I'm very satisfied with that ending. I'm very happy with it. So of course I had to take a picture with my How to Train Your Dragon toothless dress. And then we headed back to the resort after that because it was late. And that is the end of our day today. So we'll see you tomorrow. For our year with the ears.